And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Highs managed to reach the upper 80s and 90 degree values. We didn't have any location that hit 91, but several that hit 90. Wapaka, Surgeon Bay, Acanto, Oshkosh. It was a degree shy of 90 in Shano and Green Bay. But some cooler weather is on the way. Look at these values down in the 70s. Bismarck was in the hundreds the other day, and now they had highs about uh, 25 degrees cooler. There is some colder air that's moving in from Canada and also with it a, a strong cold front. Drastic change in temperatures with highs running around 10 to 15 degrees above normal ahead of that cold front and then running about 10 to 20 degrees below normal behind that cold front. Today was a muggy and hot one that uh, there was some mid and upper level clouds that did help us a little bit in terms of the hot and humid weather and also I mean we can complain with a light breeze when we have temperatures of this nature it does certainly make it feel a little bit better outside versus if it was just calm winds and then getting baked under the sun. But here's the weather picture. We got a strong area of low pressure right now over Hudson Bay and then a elongated cold front that's moving right across the Midwest and uh, the Great Plains. There are showers and storms developing along that cold front from southern Minnesota up into northern Wisconsin and along that cold front boundary showers and thunderstorms have erupted and are slowly moving eastward. We do have a cluster just to the west of Wausau at the moment. Eventually those thunderstorms will arrive across northeast Wisconsin later on tonight. A marginal and a slight risk for severe weather over western Wisconsin, but there is a small sliver of slight risk of severe weather over western Washera County. And then the rest pretty much along and west of the Fox Valley, we have a marginal risk for severe storms later on tonight. If we do see anything, it would likely be some gusty winds or some small hail. On top of the risk for severe weather, there's also a risk for some flooding rains, a slight uh, marginal risk for excessive rainfall across the area today. And then as you head into tomorrow, that risk continues with a marginal and slight risk once again for excessive rainfall. With these thunderstorms clusters that will uh, move in, that will allow us to have some pockets of some locally heavy rainfall. And there is a uh, flood watch in effect for Marquette and Green Lake counties that extends into tomorrow. So our high risk future radar product does show the coverage increasing in nature with showers and thunderstorms widespread overspreading northeast Wisconsin continuing into the morning hours tomorrow. Looks like coverage does start to dwindle a little bit as we continue into the afternoon. However, we start to see that pick up once again with some scattered showers and storms, especially tomorrow night. Another big cluster moving right across and when we combine all of this rainfall over the next 24 to 36 hours, widespread it looks like about a half inch to an inch and a half. But where you do see these purples, that'll represent some much higher totals between two to four inches of rain. And you could see that in the wide scope. Wisconsin certainly getting quite a bit of rainfall in that forecast. Now, as we do, uh, we will also get a benefit with that, with uh, abnormally dry conditions and a moderate drought for parts of the northern section of the state. We'll take that with that rainfall that's moving in. Temperatures tomorrow only in the lower 70s, so it will be a lot cooler. And also with it, notice how those dew points, they do drop down into the 60s tomorrow, so it will turn dry. Cooling off to 68 tonight, well, variable winds at 5 miles per hour tomorrow. We get up to 73, northeast winds 5 to 10. I'll have the 7-day forecast coming up.